Hi, today we're going to talk about people who lie and how to react effectively to them. Let's start off by acknowledging that all people tell lies from time to time, including me and you. That's not what I want to focus on, really. I want to focus on those people who tell lies even when they'd be better off telling the truth. I'm sure you know someone, or maybe you even live with somebody, that you've referred to as a pathological liar. Here's a quick tip to understand why people lie. All human behavior is purposeful. There's a reason we do everything we do. So let's look at some of the common purposes or reasons behind hurtful lying. The first one is this, control. Those of you who've heard me speak before know that I really pay attention to certain words and control is probably at or near the top of that list. Some people want to control the impression you have of them. Other people want to control you directly so that they can take advantage of you. But control is oftentimes a key reason for lying. A second reason. Many people have underlying emotional needs, unmet needs, and so they lie uh, to make themselves feel better, even if it's at your expense. You know what I'm talking about, somebody that says things or does things so that they can uh, improperly put themselves at the front of the line. Okay, a third reason is that a person may lie because he has some pretty serious flaws uh, in his character or her character. And these are the more serious kinds of pathological liars. They're not lying for seemingly harmless reasons. They're lying to advance an agenda that may very well be hurtful to people, and they really don't care about the damage they cause. Okay, so how do you react to a habitual liar? Here's several guidelines. First, it's incumbent on us to do our homework. If you think somebody's lying, don't just assume that it's a lie. Look for evidence of it so that when you confront the person, you're in the right and that person uh, can't refute you. Okay, second, rather than get mad and stay mad that you've been lied to, Try to honestly do what I've just been talking about and figure out the motivation behind that person's deceit. What drove him or her to lie? Does he have a self-esteem needs or does he feel insignificant or misunderstood? Uh, are they afraid that they might be punished if they are truthful? And this is probably particularly applicable to children and teenagers. Is a person traumatized? Have they been traumatized and they're afraid of being hurt yet again? Understanding that person's purpose or motive will give you some understanding of how to handle your response. Okay, a third guideline. Talk to a lying person in a way that preserves their dignity. Now that's one of those things that's easier said than done. Remember, people lie because they're convinced that it's the best way to get to where they want to be or to be the person they think they need to present. Sometimes the humiliation of being uncovered as a fraud only makes lying worse. So when you confront that person, maintain your composure. Do it in a way that communicates that it's safe to be real around you. Okay, a fourth guideline. Once you've caught a person in a lie, don't gloat in the fact that you caught them. Give them the opportunity to, to explain themselves. Listen, really listen as they talk. Try not to get mad or overreact, and when the person is explaining themselves, refrain from offering a counterpoint of view. Those kinds of reactions may convince the lying person that it's to his or her advantage uh, to lie more. But if you maintain your composure, you do a really good job of active listening, maybe you'll convince the person that it's okay to be real in your presence. A fifth guideline give time for healing to occur. Once a lie is out in the open, give the lying person a reason to believe that it's best to be honest. When you're with that person, be as normal as you can. Don't be condemning. Be affirming when you can. Avoid shaming the person or saying how disappointed you are in them. They already know all those things. If you show too much disapproval, you may inadvertently weaken the lying person's already fragile ego. Okay, I do have to say as a sixth guideline that if lying persists, you may be forced to ask yourself if it's best to physically 
or emotionally distance yourself from the lying person. Let's face reality. Some people keep lying no matter how safe you try to make their world. Your task is to be true to yourself. You can't ch force change over anybody. You can only create a climate for change. At some point in time, you may need to give yourself permission to disconnect as a way of maintaining your own sanity and dignity. No one really likes making that decision, but there's times when your choices are limited. I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm psychologist Lee Carter. I'm going to be talking more about this topic and other related topics in future videos. I'd enjoy it if you left a comment or two about the way you effectively deal with people in your world who lie. And take note of the information below this video. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel, and I'll look forward to being with you again soon.